you're thinking about moving to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, but you just haven't decided which neighborhood you want to move to, whether it's Dolphin Isles, Galt Mall, Coral Ridge, Victoria Park, I'm going to be featuring Tarpon River and I'm going to show you three attached single family homes as well as one old Florida cottage from the 1940s. Let's get into it right now. I'm here on the north part of Tarpon River. It's actually a very hipster vibe. It's completely changing with all the construction. You have some of those commercial spaces that have become like cafes, bagel shops, even some CrossFit fitness locations. So this townhouse features three bedrooms, four bathrooms. It is 2,600 square feet and they are asking for 1.1 million. Now I have to say, I did mention townhome, but realistically it is an attached single family home. The reason I say that is because it does only share one wall and there is no HOA, so it is your own home. is this isn't necessarily a cul-de-sac but it does have a barrier here so that you won't actually have traffic people coming and cutting through so that does mean it will be quiet these were just completed this year in 2023 so they are new and it is just two there and two here right across the street you do have the kingdom hall of jehovah's witnesses it's a block over um, from this corner is Hardy Park. I want to show you how close you are to downtown. If you can kind of see in the distance, those are high rises. That's downtown, so you know how close you really are. My name is Adela Phillipson, and I am a local realtor here in the Great Fort Lauderdale, Florida area. So if you are thinking about moving here in nine days or 90 days, give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email all the information is down below in the description so we can help you move to fort lauderdale florida townhouse same as the last one is technically an attached single family home this one has three bedrooms three and a half bathrooms it's 2500 square feet and they are asking just shy of a million it's 975,000. as you can see it is newly completed as well and you you have the same two units here where you share a wall and this one over here two units where you share a wall just to show you what's around the neighborhood is an example where you have like a old Florida home Tarpon River is really being developed very fast um, and just changing completely. This townhouse has been built next door. Um, here you do have a single family home behind a wooden gate. And same thing here, I'm passing by wooden fence, gate, you can't see the home. If you still haven't decided which neighborhood you wanna to move to here in Fort Lauderdale, I do have a playlist just for you where I show you other neighborhoods. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link right here for you to watch later. townhouse or more like an attached single family home features three bedrooms two and a half bathrooms they do have a pool two car garage they even have a rooftop so you can see the Fort Lauderdale downtown skyline and they do have a pool they are asking for 800,000 now it does seem to be very common here in the area to get these attached single family homes But I just want to show you the area. So single family home, single family home, single family home. But right next to this one, you have the attached uh, single family home. In fact, the wall that they share is a unit on the other side. So they actually get access to their unit on the parallel street. Same with this one. Um, so you just kind of have them all lined up in a row. So it's interesting how across the street you have the single family homes and on this side you have the attached very close to New River right here in downtown. Um, in fact, at the end of this street, it's not a cul-de-sac um, and it's not a dead end, but they do have a barrier 
so the street actually curves around so it's still quiet what's great is that if you're located right here you can ju just actually walk across this barrier get to the restaurants right here on the river so for example like downtowner it's just right over here and so that's new river and if you see here in the distance the cranes they, that's what they're actually working on right now. This 1940s old Florida cottage features two bedrooms plus a den or office and one bathroom. It is about 1,050 square feet and they are asking for 690. What's interesting about this part of Tarpon River is you can see a lot of development. Uh, there's actually a new gym that was just constructed. Um, there are some accountant offices on the corner, but there is a new modern home here um, and it's a mix. So what's happening in this part is that new development is popping up all over the place, just surrounding some of these older Florida homes. So this particular home, you can see it is older and even next door to the home I was showing you is another like smaller little cottage. Whereas if I just go further down, you have a more modern like Key West home. This one is really nice. You'll find a lot of homes with siding in this area starting to get bigger over time. And it is very eclectic between the smaller little homes, for example, this one and the bigger homes. If you want to explore other cities aside from Fort Lauderdale, go ahead and watch them here. And if you don't want to miss out on anything else, make sure to subscribe. See you later, alligator.